Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what we're going to look at is an alternative to your, you know, your local friendly V lookup. Um, you know, as I often say in class, if you want to get Excel people excited, what you should do is open up a debate between index match and V lookup. Um, I suppose for myself, I don't have strong feelings one way or the other. Um, I do think though that index match is more flexible in the sense that you don't need to worry where your matchy matchy bit is. For example, here, my product ID is this is the bit that I need and I need to match it up with my product ID here. If it was a, a VLOOKUP, the product ID in this scenario would have to be over here to the right or above or below my product name. But because I plan to use an index match, that's not a limitation. So I click here, go to formulas, go down to lookup and reference and I go to index. So this is the index bit of it. And the thing you need to remember about the index is that you should always think, okay, this is the data I want to pull in. So when I'm looking at my table array bit over here, which is the, the place that has all the data I need in products, I should be looking for the column with the product name in it. So click on products, highlight this one, and this is what I'm going to use for my um, array bit of it. In the match bit then, this is where I use the bit that where it matches up on it. So match product ID, comma, go to products, and then highlight my product ID column, comma zero because I want to be an exact match and then close my brackets and then click OK. And this, because this um, data has been formatted as a table, it auto fills down automatically. Now I'm just going to keep going with the same one with supplier. OK, and what you could do at this point is, is that, you know, the only thing that's different here is that if I go back here to the products one, supplier is column C. So what I could do up here is I could go up to this one, copy it there, control C to copy then control V to paste and literally I'm just going to change the B to a C. So I'll just click in here, change that to C, change that to C. You can see there it's changed the supplier automatically. Now what I'm going to suggest to you is that you do um, category and quantity per unit um, and if you want to see the finished version if you do a right click down here there's an option that says unhide. I can see the completed version is there. Right. Hope you found this useful and as always any comments etc um you know throw them into the comma or hit reply on this one. Take care, mind yourself, bye.